What you're about to witness is one of the most sinister sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever produced. And there's more. Because you are going to see it as well. Yes, it. Yes, it. North Korean missile lands in Sydney, near Russia. Latest update. North Korea, defying calls to rein in its weapons program, fired a ballistic missile that landed in the sea near Russia on Sunday, days after the new leader of South Korea came to power pledging to engage Pyongyang in dialogue. The U.S. Military Specific Command said it was assessing the type of missile that was fired but it was not consistent with an intercontinental ballistic missile. The U.S. threat assessment has not changed from a national security standpoint, a U.S. official said. Japanese Defense Minister Tomomi Arnota said the missile could be a new type. It flew for 30 minutes before dropping into the sea between North Korea's east coast and Japan. North Korea has consistently test-fired missiles in that direction. A U.S. official, speaking on condition of anonymity, said the missile landed 97 kilometers, 60 miles, south of Russia's Vladivostok region. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley called the launch a message by Pyongyang to South Korea after the election of President Moon Jae-in, who took office on Wednesday. You first have to get into Kim Jong of Gun's head, which is, he's in a state of paranoia, he's incredibly concerned about anything and everything around him, Haley told ABS this week program, referring to North Korea's leader. Haley added that the United States will continue to tighten the screws, referring to sanctions and working with the international community to put pressure on Pyongyang. The White House mentioned Russia in its earlier statement about the launch. With the missile impacting so close to Russian soil in fact, closer to Russia than to Japan hyphen the president cannot imagine that Russia is pleased, the White House said referring to U.S. President Donald Trump. The launch served as a call for all nations to implement stronger sanctions against North Korea, it added. The missile flew 700 kilometers, 430 miles, and reached an altitude of more than 2,000 kilometers, 1,245 miles, according to officials in South Korea and Japan further and higher than an intermediate-range missile North Korea successfully tested in February from the same region of Kaesong, northwest of its capital, Pyongyang. An intercontinental ballistic missile is considered to have a range of more than 6,000 kilometers, 3,700 miles. North Korea is widely believed to be developing an intercontinental missile tipped with a nuclear weapon that is capable of reaching the United States. Trump has vowed not to let that happen. Experts said the altitude reached by the missile tested on Sunday meant it was launched at a high trajectory, which would limit the lateral distance it travelled. But if it was fired at a standard trajectory, it would have a range of at least 4,000 kilometers, 2,500 miles, experts said. Kim Dong-yeb of Kyungnam University Institute of Far Eastern Studies in Seoul said he estimated the standard trajectory would give it a range of 6,000 kilometers, 3,700 miles. The launch may indeed represent a new missile with a long range, said Jonathan McDowell of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, referring to the estimated altitude of more than 2,000 kilometers, 1,240 miles. It is definitely concerning. Speaking in Beijing, Dmitry Peskov, Russian President Vladimir Putin, as spokesman, told reporters Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping had discussed the situation on the Korean Peninsula, including the latest missile launch, and expressed mutual concerns about growing tensions. Putin is in Beijing for a conference on a plan for a new Silk Road. Delegations from the United States... South Korea and North Korea are also there. The launch, at 5.27am. Seoul time, 2027 GMT Saturday, came two weeks after North Korea fired a missile that disintegrated minutes into flight, marking its fourth consecutive failure since March. South Korea's new president Moon held his first National Security Council in response to the launch, which he called a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions, his office said. The president said while South Korea remains open to the possibility of dialogue with North Korea, 
It is only possible when the North shows a change in attitude, Ian Young Chan, Moon's press secretary, told a briefing. Source, Reuters.